Well, good morning. How are you all today? And welcome to Integrative Preparedness. I want to talk today about uh, what I believe to be an imminent attack uh, on on our country, the United States. Actually, I think it's going to be an internal attack. And people have talked about this quite a bit, about, uh, you know, if it's coming, when it's coming, what what, uh, how it's going to take shape. We have our eye, of course, on a lot of things, a lot of external situations. Uh, Russia's bringing their, their nuke sub, or already got it down in Cuba. I guess we, we all have our nuke subs down in Cuba, don't we? We have ours, we have one of ours at Guantanamo Bay. And, uh, of course, the Russians brought in their little group, their, their, uh, frigate and their nuke sub and, uh, spy boat and some, uh, and a, and a fueler. Uh, down into Havana. So, so Cuba is becoming a hot spot again, isn't it? Well, I guess we, we could have assumed it was always going to be that way. Uh, if you haven't, uh, heard about it, I just put something up over on the Patreon, uh, channel about, uh, potential detention centers being built in, in all 50 states. Uh, if you're over with us, uh, on Patreon, uh, you'll want to make sure that you watch that video. Uh, one major announcement before we get to it, and that is you can once again buy the reversion, the revival, the renewal, and appeal to heaven, the blessings of freedom, and hostages to fortune, collectively known as the Stone Mod series, my books. You can once again buy them directly from me. I just got a message that my load is, is due to arrive tomorrow from the printer. And I've uh, been out for, for quite a while, and now you can can get them directly from me. I love it when, when people get them from me, um, because I get to sign them and uh, write a little note in there. You know, when you order them through our website, stonemont.us, there's a place in there that it, it says, would you like Steve to sign your book, or is there anything in particular that you'd like him to say in it? I had somebody ask me for my chili recipe one time. That's a little long, you know, but just something something simple because I do have a lot of books to sign and uh and I I love doing it, but I I can't get into to that much detail. If it's a gift for somebody, you know, there's a place for you to put it in there. Hey Steve, I read your books or I've bought them or these are for a friend of mine. You know, I there is somebody out there who have, has bought 12 complete sets of these and giving them out to people. So if uh, if if you haven't read them, I suggest they're the next thing that you do. If you're serious about preparedness, I say that they are the complete guide to preparing for surviving and rebuilding after a total collapse of everything. First one came out in 2017, and people around the world have been learning from them ever since. It's a great story. It's fiction, six novels in serial form. Uh, but a lot, all the less, more lessons than you can imagine, to be real honest. Uh, you read these and you're going to want to read them again and again and again because you'll miss out the first few times. And, uh, and you will like, so anyway, those are available. You can order them from me directly again through the Stone Mount website, stonemont.us. And I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled about that. I'm happy about that. Also through that website, you can register for the gathering, the first annual uh, integrated preparedness Stonemont gathering that's coming up July 13th in Lenexa, Kansas. You go to the Stonemont U.S. website and there's a place over there, events, and you can register for that. All the information on where it is, what it is, everything like that is down below in the, uh, information box and also posted on the Patreon channel. Okay. So let me take a sip after my initial commercials there. And, uh, for the, for the person that, that, you know, always complains about, I mean, you know, Hey, you just wanted to sell your books and, and, uh, get, you know, well, that's why I write them. I'm a writer and you probably don't complain about the, the Super Bowl ads, right? Uh, <clears throat> okay. What, uh, what, what, what are we looking at when it comes to an internal attack? We've talked about this a lot, uh, because of our border, because of our, our, uh, our refusal to, uh, excuse me just a second. Sorry, somebody was calling. Uh, our refusal to enforce our immigration laws, our southern border, our northern border for that matter, but the southern border, southern border is, is of course the one that we're most concerned with. Uh, we've had 
hundreds of thousands, millions of people flooding into our country. We don't know who they are, although we do know that a lot of them come from countries that, that hate us. And uh, you know, I don't have to go through the whole spiel. You know, hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of young military-aged males coming alone. They look like they're in good shape. They all have cell phones. Their, cl their clothes are in good shape. Their clothes are clean. They have backpacks. Uh, they're not vetting them. They are not, they're not doing anything with them. And a matter of fact, you really want to be shocked. Uh, watch the video that I mentioned over on the Patreon channel. Uh, it'll shock you more than, than you already probably are. Well, the discussion about eventually, you know, they are, they are importing. And actually, we are importing, our government is importing the, the enemy force that's going to rise up against our country. I don't think that there's any doubt about that. I don't see how you can doubt that. Uh, I, I'm not one to jump into these things very, very quickly. You know, I will never, I will never ascribe to conspiracy what can be explained simply through stupidity because stupidity is, is rampant in our world and having worked in, in the government, I, I witnessed it on a daily basis, and every day you wonder if they can be more stupid than they were the day before, and certainly they, they, they show that they can. Uh, but anyway, I believe this to be a, a, a total, it's all for a reason, it's all working together. Uh, you can have your own opinions on that as to why, it, it, the, the why really doesn't matter, it's the what that matters, it's going to happen. And of course now we're, we're all we're all focused on the world, or many people are, on the world situation. Uh, Ukraine, Russia, China, Taiwan, uh, Israel, Iran. Uh, I mean, take your pick, right? It's a cafeteria of problems around the world. And, uh, and it is, they're using that to, to take our attention away from what's really going on. Uh, the next six months, I've said before, are going to be extremely interesting. Uh, they are going to be, I think, among the most challenging uh, months we've had in our history. And then when Election Day comes, uh, that's when it really starts, it, depending on who wins. Okay, depending on it, it starts no matter what, but it's going to go one way if Biden wins. It's going to go another way if Trump wins. And uh, that's when it the, the dangers, in my opinion, really start. Yes, I think we're going to have a summer of, of violence uh, and, and it's all going to lead up as we come into the, the different conventions, the Democrat convention and the Republican convention, and then it gets really serious. We will see. It wouldn't surprise me that the, that the Democrats tone down their, their violence after the Democrat convention. Uh, the the pro-Palestinian uh, groups are going to make as much noise as they can, but they know that they don't want Trump in there. And they know that if they continue to cause problems, people are going to vote against the Democrats, just like it happened in 1968 with, with uh, Johnson Nixon. Uh, well, no, who was it? Johnson didn't run again. I forget, whoever it was. But anyway, that's what got Nixon in. And uh, uh, so they're going to tone it down. They don't want Trump in. And, and that should be for anybody out there sit, still sitting on the fence. That ought to give you an answer on who you might want to vote for. Okay. Oh, yes, I know that voting doesn't matter. And yes, it does. You know, it, first off, it's the first thing that you should do. It's kind of like, uh, what was that Navy admiral that said, uh, you want to change the world, the first thing you do is make your bed. Well, if you're not going to do the most, the, the simplest thing, you're not going to do anything else either. So start with the voting and, and then stop complaining. Start with the voting and, and start doing something. And then if it doesn't work, okay, now we have another problem to deal with. But I, I foresee, uh, I believe there is going to be a major attack in our country from within. I think it's going to be coordinated. I think it's going to be much larger than 9-11. I think it's going to happen in numerous places at the same time or, or either in, in the same time or in a cascading uh, way that is really going to uh, to increase the confusion, uh, and I I believe it's going to happen after the election if Trump wins. And 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 I know don't don't 
you know, there's no need to come on and say they're not going to let Trump win and they're not, uh, whatever, man. Uh, but if, if, if Trump wins, if it pulls it off, that's when we're going to see the attacks. Uh, if, if Biden wins, we're not going to see any major attack. They're going, they're going to continue to go along if, if Biden wins because they're winning. They're winning already under Biden, under the Democrats. They don't have to, to, to raise an attack. They know that, they, that an attack against the American people will just raise everybody up again, although, you know, not everybody. And not for very long, just like 9-11. Uh, and they don't want that. Now, that would be the start of a real, uh, an unforeseen kind of war. That would be unbelievable. And I'll tell you right now, I am, this will be a surprise to many of you, I am changing my my pistol caliber as a result of, of this. Um, can't talk about that on here, on on the YouTube side, because this is going on YouTube as well as on Patreon. Uh, but I'll talk about it over on Patreon. I know that's going to be a shock to many, but uh, I see real dangerous times coming, and I'm carrying, uh, I'm changing my carry, including the caliber. Uh, so be ready for that. Uh, like I say, if, if Biden gets in, it's going to get horrible, and we're going to continue the slide into the ditch. And uh, that's going to be, I mean, a new challenge every day. If you think the last four years or three and a half years have been horrible, uh, get ready for horrible squared because it will be, this is, I agree with uh, Victor Davis Hanson. This is America's last chance. Last chance. If it doesn't, if we don't begin to bring this ship and, and straighten it away and, and, and get it away from heading toward the beach, we're not going to have another chance. Now, even if we do, that doesn't mean that we're, we're going to experience long-term success because one administration, one man, it can, can't change everything. It has to be a, a full change of, the, of enough of the country that we can stay on that new course. And I, to be honest, I don't have a lot of hope for that. Uh, but it better to kind of get, you know, back on track this time than not. Okay. And also it might be the, the one hope that we have, because here, here's what I mean. Here's my reasoning on this. If Trump wins, I believe there will be, like I said, a great attack. There will, there will be coordinated attacks across the country that will focus a lot of people who haven't wanted to admit things that will focus a lot of people on the problem and maybe maybe you can't be sure but maybe it will get enough people on board to get things squared away uh, I was talking about this with a friend of mine yesterday and and he uh, uh, he, he felt them. So he's he's in banking. He's in IT, and he's uh, but he's a he's an old farm boy from Western Kansas. So he has he has both he has his his feet in both areas. You know, he's got it in the big city and in the rural areas. He knows how he 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 has a good broad understanding of of people in those different areas, and he agrees with this. He says yes. He's uh, he's about ready. He's he's got he's got his plan. That in, uh, I forget what he said, five or seven years or something like that, he's going back to, uh, back to Western Kansas, back to the family ranch. And you know, somebody, and, and that's kind of like me, I, I have my plan. Uh, and it's also about a five or seven year plan. I'm not going to discuss exactly what that is. And you know, I know that there are people out there that will say, you need to do it now. And, you know, uh, I mean, I understand the better a year too soon than a minute too late. I understand that. But, you know, these are decisions that we make as a result of our, our taking a great many things into consideration. 
and then actually having a plan as as a, as opposed to simply reacting out of, of fear. Okay, but anyway, that's uh, that, those are my thoughts on that. Um, if Trump wins, it'll be it's what we need. It's what has to happen to stop the final demise of our country. If he doesn't win, America is over for sure. America as we've known it. It might, it, it'll keep on going on being called the United States, but it's not going to be the America that we knew. Uh, if Trump wins, we have a, a slight chance, but that's when the real violence is going to begin. So get ready for that. And if you're interested in, and I don't know that I'll do it, well, I'll probably do it this week. If you're interested in more, uh, I'll be talking about my change in, in carry and things like that and what you might want to consider. But I'll do that on the Patreon channel. If you're not with us on the Patreon channel, say, what's he talking about? It's it's uh, The link is down below in the information section right above. I think all the, the information, the links to the gathering, the gathering, are, uh, are there. Um, links to my books, to the website, to everything, and also the link to the Patreon uh, channel and you get a lot more. I put a lot more on the Patreon channel than I do on the YouTube channel. And the more we get into this, the more the, uh, important that stuff is going to be. And then remember also, I am so happy to be able to announce that that you can get my books through me directly again. <laughs> the Stone Mott series, the complete guide to preparing for surviving and rebuilding after a total collapse of everything, the good old American way, family values, not a bunch of cuss words in it, great story, love story, action, violence, slavery, cannibalism, all. Yeah, it, it's, it's, you'll love the story and you'll learn a lot. So those you can get directly from, you can get it from Amazon also, you know, but I love it when you get it from me and you can get it through stonemont.us. And uh, I'm looking forward to being able to do that again. Okay, uh, just keep this in mind. Be ready. Get ready. Increase your preparedness. You're going to be glad that you did. And, uh, and keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on things that are happening, and we will too. If you're not with us on the American Reversion channel, I cover some politics over there, if that's what you're into more than I do on this channel. We'd love to see you there as well. But keep this in mind, and remember, like we always say, we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. Did I say this is the official mug of the gathering? Only those people who come to the gathering can get this. It, it, I, I don't know if I, I said this. It doesn't cost anything to come to the gathering because people are spending. It's, it's not a money maker. It's, it's a time for everybody who, who watches the channel to come and meet each other and we can sit down and, you know, eat a burger and hot dog and drink a pop and, and, uh, and just have a good afternoon. And, and I'm really looking forward to it. So anyway, remember we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. The time is coming when, um, this, this country can, can really blow and you need to be ready for it. Okay. You all have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.